Hi guys, welcome to another Kamikaze creation video. We're going to tackle the big task of uh, getting on to the wiring harness. Now, I've said before in the videos that I'm definitely not a wiring guru. I really don't know what I'm doing a lot of the time, but I suppose I'm improving because I'm willing to have a go. Um, I'm going to get into it. Shane has labelled this harness up pretty well for me. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem. There are a few relays that I've got to set up uh, and I've done a little bit of uh, research on that so I know what to do and how to do it and why I'm doing it. And uh, all I've got to do is go and do it. So keep an eye on this, guys, and I'll walk you through the process of uh, setting up this wiring harness and getting it ready to connect into the motor. This is my mission today. As I said before, I'm no uh, electrical engineer. Far from it. Far from being an electrician. Um, I've been down and bought a few relays just down at the local super cheap. Uh, did a bit of uh, watching of some YouTube clips of what relays do and what they're for and how to wire them. And these are pretty standard. They're basically a four pole relay um, so power to the coil to turn it on and off and uh, and then a switching mechanism so <clears throat> these are also fused so 30 amp fuses because it's a 30 amp system and i've got my em80 ecu wiring diagram which shane's put a couple of little notes on and on the back side of here is all the setup for my relays, so basically relays to ECU, uh, the ignition relay, fuel pump relay, and then thermo fans if I decide to use that as well. Um, most of these wires over here are bundled and redundant, and then Shane's put shrink wrap on my harness, and it's pretty much labeled up for the injectors and the coils, Temperature sensors, throttle position sensor. It over the other side here are all the wires that go to those relays. So it's all labelled up pretty well and looks reasonably logical. It's fitting that's the big issue. Down on my ECU, I have the main plug that will go into the harness. And I've got all my um, connections there for getting in and having a look at the program side of it. And there's also a little vacuum um, sensor there that will hook up to the manifold i'm going to i think run it run a new hole in my firewall so i'll pull this supercharger back out because it's basically just sitting in there and i'm going to uh, have a look down in around the firewall or a position i can bring it through because i think if i come around inside the car I'm going to run from my glove box where I've got access to the ECU. So that's the plan at this stage. I'll probably pull that glove box out, have a look in behind it, have a look up under the dash where I can come through with the hole. And I've actually bought a grommet um, to plug the hole back up. But that's the mission. So watch this space. So the supercharger is back out of the engine bay and I'm planning on coming through the firewall here somewhere. I've taken the glove box out so that I can try to isolate an area in there and I can get in to do a bit of the cabling. There's the glove box sitting out there and uh, I'm going to go in through here somewhere and see if I can find my way through without uh, damaging too much. I found a good position to run in through the firewall. I'll have to get a grommet to seal that back off. But I was planning on running the ECU bundle in through the side of the glove box so I can run the ECU in there. And I haven't really thought about where I'm putting the relays yet, but I'd say I'll run those in here as well. I might make up a aluminium plate to mount those onto and uh, mount it inside the glove box. This is all the wiring running up into the engine bay now. I've just got it full length. I'll probably have to pull some of it back 
uh, once I terminate it, but uh, it's a good progress. I've trimmed out the back corner of the glove box, and these are a nice glove box in the LHLX. They're a cardboard fold-up type unit in the UC. Another great thing about the UC is it's a nice plastic glove box, really good. Uh, anyway, so I've trimmed out that back corner and I've made sure that the uh, wiring loom uh, attaches there nicely. It's got plenty of clearance and there's clearance in the back of it for the wires to come out. And uh, in the front, I've got the connections for um, accessing the ECU. And I've made up an aluminium plate and I'm going to mount up all of the relays uh, for each of the items I need a relay for. And uh, I'm going to put a hole in probably here somewhere for the wires to go through um, and run them back out the back of the glove box to wire everything up. So not a bad start. Here's the glove box sitting back in place in the car. Uh, so it all fits up nicely and the wires should be all nicely hidden and I've got access to those data ports for doing any tuning on the car. So this is how the conversion of a glove box goes. Um, still got a lot of wires down on the um, carpet there but a lot of those are redundant. The, um, the main wires hanging out here, the red and black ones with the... Uh, Labelling on them will go up to those relays. That's what they're all about, basically the relays. I've got the ECU uh, sitting in there so the ports are easy to access. And I've got a main isolator switch uh, sitting in there as well. Uh, so I'll run a line from the battery to that isolator and a lot of those red wires you can see at the moment uh, will go to the other side of that switch and uh, then I've got to put my ignition side on but starting to make progress um, enjoying trying to be tidy with electrical it's not my area but uh, I'm liking this setup so the glove box will just close it'll all be in there I can lock that glove box for a bit of security but uh, yeah starting to work it out So I think that'll do for the day. I've now got um, most of the wires set up there. So all of the common wires are organised. Um, common earths, common powers. Um, I've got a main wire running through the battery and the isolation switch there is uh, isolating that. When I turn the ignition on, the only thing I've got hooked up at the moment is the um, fuel pump um, to a relay. And when I flick that power switch, turn the ignition on, it all works. So if one works, that means it will all work. So it's uh, taken a fair bit of uh, a move since I showed you what I've been doing. Um, so all of the brown wires there are to ignition. The red wires go to main power and to the back of that isolation switch over there. And the um, black wires are all earth. Now, not all of them are common from the wiring diagram I'm working on. Some of them go specific places, so I haven't, uh, haven't made them all common at this stage. You've got to do a little bit more research on that. But basically, when that fits up inside the glove box, now you'll see over there I've got uh, ECU and ignition. Theoretically... Um, if I take these couple of wires down here, um, what's this one to? This one is to ECU. This one here must be to ignition. Yep, ignition. So if I hook those ignition, that ignition wire up and the ECU wire up, um, the computer should fire up by rights. The only one I haven't uh, really looked at at this stage is the thermos because I'm not sure where I'm going with that yet. I have uh, taken the radiator out now because it is going to foul with the inlet pipe and I'll probably get that modified and then see if I can fit 
the thermos in. So I've got it there ready to go, pretty happy with that progress and pretty happy with the learning. So uh, I think that'll do. So guys, it's been a huge day doing that wiring harness. Um, I've learned a lot actually through the process and that's what this is all about, learning and sharing. Um, I've uh, probably done the best job I've ever done and uh, I'll uh, continue on it tomorrow, I'd say, and try to finalise a few things and, uh, and, and get it ready for when those extractors come. I've still got to do the fuel system, so that's probably uh, finalise this wiring harness and wiring set up tomorrow and then start looking at the fuel system. So uh, keep watching.